Wow, well, I did not expect this this morning. Look at this packed house. It is so awesome to be here. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know with Stampede still in full swing, it feels wild saying that, like we're seven days in and everybody is still going uh, all day long and you've all taken time out of your schedules uh, to be here with us this morning. Now, I just spent a couple days in Newfoundland and explaining to people what Stampede is, because uh, I truly believe everything about it is magical, from the pancakes, to the beef on a bun, to the rodeo, to the chucks, uh, to everybody coming together to showcase what Alberta is all about. And I, I often say the Calgary Stampede really does capture a lot of what makes Alberta great. It is big, it is bold, it brings people together, and of course we all know it is the greatest show on earth. It is also a huge economic driver for businesses, big and small, right across our province. Small businesses are the heart of our economy. They make up 96% of all businesses and employ hundreds of thousands of people all across Alberta. They are the backbone of our communities, the drivers of our prosperity, and the direct project, product of our entrepreneurial and innovative spirit, which Albertans have long been known for. When it comes to reducing emissions, small businesses are experts at finding new ways to solve problems, streamline operations, and develop new technologies. Just look at Ever Technologies, a Calgary startup that's creating the world's first commercially operated geothermal Everloop in Germany, which I was able to tour and uh, see as it was becoming commissioned just last August. Using technology perfected in the oil and gas sector, Ever is now going to start powering thousands of homes and businesses with geothermal energy. Another example, an amazing one, Carbon Upcycling, also a Calgary startup that's using CO2 emissions to enhance everyday materials like concrete, plastics, and batteries. Small and medium-sized businesses are risk takers and problem solvers by nature. They want to find new and better ways to do things and they have the skills, talent, and expertise, especially in a place like Alberta. But of course, they can face barriers, whether that's the resources, the timing, the infrastructure, of course, capital, preventing them from getting their great ideas from concept to commercialization. That is why we're here to make this massive investment in Alberta's greatest resource, our people, our entrepreneurs, natural innovators, and small businesses that we're so incredibly proud of. This $44 million we're announcing today will help over 21 small and medium businesses scale up, pilot, demonstrate, and get their first-of-kind projects off the ground. We're tapping into that entrepreneurial and innovative spirit of Albertans to advance new technologies that will create jobs, reduce emissions, and grow the economy through projects where funding, this funding, goes a long way. These projects touch all corners of our economy, which I think is pretty exciting, covering everything from power generation to agriculture to forestry to, of course, oil and gas, construction, electricity, and so much more. This includes funding for an AI-powered lighting system that will grow plants more efficiently while reducing energy costs, a new geothermal project that could one day help power homes and businesses in Greenview and across the province. Companies like our gracious hosts today, Six Ring, another fantastic example, who will receive five million to help transform their testing facility into a full-fledged commercial operation in Lethbridge County, harnessing the power of biomass technology like never before. Six Rings journey exemplifies our province's entrepreneurial spirit, which of course I spoke of earlier, and speak about everywhere I go. Beginning in oil and gas, they've evolved into biomass pioneers, creating renewable diesel, ethanol for sustainable aviation fuel, and a product doubling renewable gas production from our agricultural sector. Their bio-based solutions have the potential to one day be used and sold around the world. And that's what today is all about, investing in those Albertans who continue to put our province on the map as a world leader in energy innovation and developing the technologies that the world needs right now. Countries from around the world continue to look to Alberta for inspiration, and many provinces in Canada look to us also to be a voice of reason. I can say that after spending uh, the last few days with my colleagues and counterparts, environment ministers, uh, federal and provincial from across the country, especially when we're faced with, uh, quite frankly, a federal government 
and environment minister that continually choose ideology, taxes, and punitive policies over investing in the technology, common sense, jobs, economy, affordability, and energy security that the world needs right now. Alberta has shown everyone that you can lead the way on emissions reduction, environmental stewardship, and responsible resource development without compromising our economy, sacrificing jobs, and of course affordability for struggling families, or essentially um, condemning citizens to energy poverty, which is a huge issue around the world right now. Alberta can be and should be, and of course will be, the global jurisdiction of choice when it comes to emissions reduction technology and meeting global energy demand that continues to rise every single day. So thank you to everyone involved in this project and the many others who are here today. Your work is vital and so appreciated. When I look around this room, uh, and I, I have met with many of you. You are working on a variety of exciting projects in a variety of different areas. And this is what real leadership looks like. It's not about me. It's about me talking about the great work that you're doing and making sure that the world knows what is happening here in Alberta right now. It's about creating more energy, more jobs, and fewer emissions all at the same time. We've invested billions into technologies and we're not slowing down anytime soon. I also, uh, of course, now get to pass things over to Justin Reamer. Uh, I am very grateful for the work that Justin and the team at Emissions Reduction Alberta has done, and I'm happy to have him tell us a little bit more about this great funding competition today.